Hello everyone, the Anthony S. You are not alone. I want to talk today about something that's not usually brought up in my podcasts. And the reason why it is not usually brought up is because it's more of my strategy for what I'm doing today for the future. It keeps coming up a lot in conversations of why am I doing as much as I do. And some people just want to know what the overall goal is. I want to put this together today because I feel down the road when I still show content of the mundane stuff of me going to work and doing these things every day on Instagram and then putting eventually putting a better Snapchat story together, why I transcribe on the Facebook, what the podcast's about, why do I add the YouTube videos into it over time, what is the reason for all of this? And I'll break it down to two pieces. One, I wrote a management class that I really believe in. And I'm writing speeches to give talks at locations in order to get my name out there. I'm also doing other things such as marketing the podcast and marketing on Facebook, on Instagram, to try to get the awareness out that this is the path I believe I should be taking to help humanity the most with the skills that I've been given. The second thing I'm doing is immersing myself in social media. Everything from Snapchat to Instagram stories to the actual daily reflections daily. Uh, using YouTube better, so I need to work on Facebook. I am definitely weak in that space. Right now, I'd say the only strong points I really have is Instagram and the podcast. My stories are okay on Instagram. I do have content going out on Facebook, but I don't feel like I interact enough. But that's just on the overall. I got to learn to be able to put all that together in a better and better package, which is why I'm starting to do the transcribing. Now, why these two things? First, no matter how good or bad the economy is, good leadership is important. Why am I someone that thinks they have the ability to teach on management? It's not self prescribed. I don't believe I'm greater than anyone else, but for everyone I talk to, where I'm trying to give management advice, it seems to help. And people much wiser than myself, mentors that I look at, look at me and say, you should do this. So I sat down and decided if they all believe the same thing and I'm good at it to some degree, I should probably just listen. This is just my intuition on listening to elders that I trust and respect and what I've seen to show in my own ability. Nothing more than that. There's no, there's no ego in there. If I start doing this and I really suck, I'm not going to do it anymore. There's no point. I'm not going to waste people's money and time if their management, if their culture doesn't get better. Social media. Why put more into that? It's really simple. The internet has won. Almost all of our attention is in social media or on a wireless device, i.e. smartphones. There is nowhere else where more people spend more time. At some point, if you don't know how to tackle marketing on social media platforms, and or wireless platforms, micro platforms, whatever you want to call them, you will fail. Your company will close. These two things, in my belief, in my intuition, are going to be the most two important skills to have outside of engineers and doctors in the next 30 years. There are some things that just won't matter anymore. So in order for myself to be prepared for the future, I need to be good at two things. I need to be good at one, helping leaders be better than they are today. That's probably the overall goal. Inspire others to be inspiring. That's, that's the big piece. Second thing, be able to lead successful marketing plans through social media. 
I do okay now. I'm learning some things. I got a lot, long ways to go. That's it. It's the Anthony S. You're alone. I'm bringing you into the, the, the meat and potatoes of my strategy. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you all soon.